nice thing because we, if you have many games you don't like to prolong the day more than necessary so being in the schedule it's a nice thing so we don't know uh, who's the referee it looks like Kaiser on yeah. the close side and here we go it's the Marcos in white against uh, Amager in blue and Amager is in ball possession number 11 pushing through into the American defense but uh, t uh, tackled off and she's free again we're already around the US basket uh, three players from Amaga pushing in yeah number 11 is the captain Marianne let's see we are already on the basket uh, of the US team and they are a bob in the surface fighting on the wall now they have one of the um, Danish girls on top of the goalie trying to attack from from a bob and Pulling the goalie up and probably try to pass the ball down and she cannot make it. That's the first score. That was a goal. And, and that was a bit, yeah, I cannot tell who, who was the player. And we have again a repeat Amagris here with eight players uh, in the team. And um, the Marcos are in the full, uh, in the full team strength. So um, Amager has to, uh, to force the decision in the beginning of the game and then uh, probably to fend off uh, the uh, attacks when they get tired, which is easier than attacking, depending on how strong the other team is. So, Marcos are in ball possession, fighting hard in the middle of the pool, ball is dropping down, and uh, they are pushing into the half of uh, the team from Copenhagen. Very well done here with a heavy forechecking defense by Amager, but uh, the Marcos made it, um, but, but got stopped right in front of the Danish basket up to the surface and we didn't see the ball right now we have a cluster on the surface a Ma Mako player in ball possession but she doesn't succeed to get rid of the ball ball is dropping down in the hands of uh, uh, player number 11 I think again uh, from Amager And here comes Amager with a, with a decisive attack from the close side. And already a player is waiting on the open side. She's pretty much holding on to the basket here. Who? Uh, the number 19 now. She was holding like uh, with her bare hands. Okay. Um, ball is still in uh, Danish position. Trying Number two is trying to come from above. Fan it off. It's very close quarter fight here around the basket and the ball is falling down, call from the referee, pushing without ball, pushing, no, pushing, yeah, pushing without ball, yes, was the sign, yep. it's a free throw it's a against it uh, was, a was a good attack and when you commit this kind of fault, you know, one of the one of the players at his position but stop pushing without the ball, then it just, you know, um, destroy the whole um, flow. wave and flow and intensity of the attack. So how is the sound now? How can you hear the audio um, on your home screen in your home device? Please give us a quick feedback. And uh, we go with the Marcos now to the Danish basket. The Marcos try to establish their attack pattern, taking a little bit of a distance away from the basket and then to push in. So they try to lure out, to pull out the forechecking defense of uh, Denmark to have open space to play and then to push in like bees for the sting but uh, it's difficult against an experienced team like uh, Denmark here and we see Danish players it's a, I mean sorry people are saying that uh, it's almost very far away the sound so let me put the microphone a bit closer is it better now can you hear us a little bit louder okay so uh, maybe a little bit louder now and I have the microphone closer to my uh, mouth. We Love have the 11, uh, Mariana there, the captain, uh, had stolen the basket for a minute there. And we can't hear you. We, we can't, I mean, I don't understand in any field because we said you can't, we can't hear you and then very good. So um, <laughs> you can hear us or you cannot hear us? So we have a fight in the, in the um, open on the uh, uh, on the surface in the corner of uh, the uh, U.S. basket. 
And the ball is not getting uh, loose here. And we have a call from the referee, from the deck referee, and it's a free throw against uh, Amager. Apparently it's too low. What is this music? It's from uh, the outside, I guess. Okay. <coughs> uh, yeah, the volume is still very low, but maybe we should ask. Okay, we can uh, push up the volume a little bit, so can you hear us better now? Um, hopefully uh, this is better. So we have the Marcos again in the attack. Yeah, the lights here are not turning on. They're supposed to be turning on, otherwise they can't hear us, I think. So, yeah, it looks like it's uh, the volume is very low uh, for there, this. Yeah. Was it better? Yeah, almost. Not really. Thank okay. you, Patricia, for for, for um, yeah, feedback. We, we, we're missing sadly the game, but we need to make sure that things are working as another and uh, we tried goal. the test. It was another goal, sorry, uh, for Amagar. So, um, can you hear us better now? Mm, um, no. No, they say they're not really. I changed something, Lorena. So probably it's better now. <laughs> okay, back in the game. Hopefully you can hear us. We try to do our best and. Uh, Try to talk to you. Another g attack from the Amaga team. Two players coming from the, the close side, pushing into the defense, trying to establish a block. Ball out again, uh, played around behind the back. Very nicely done to the number two. She's trying to push from the uh, open side. And this is another goal. There was a player waiting. Very well done. And you can see the experience Amaga here has in this game and how they uh, dominate in their attacks and in the defense. Oh, call from the referee. Maybe they didn't uh, take the goal to free throw against Amager for pushing. So it looks like this goal didn't count. But still uh, Amager in the blue, Amager from uh, Denmark is leading uh, against uh, the Marcos in white from the US uh, with a 2-0 lead. there. We have the Danish team continues attacking and uh, the 3-0 for uh, Amaga right now. We're coming from the close side. We have now one in the middle, one almost above the goalie. The ball is there. The goalie is trying to rescue the situation. Um, and uh, the ball is still there. They were metered away from the um, basket. <laughs> Recover by uh, the U.S. team, and now they're trying to pass the middle field, but uh, the portiquing of the Danish is uh, also good. Now Mariana, the captain, just recovered the ball and is coming with a counter-attack, coming over the open side, going, passing defender on the goalie, fighting from the side, and pass the ball farther. Nevertheless, uh, Marcos defend very well. I mean, they're doing a bit better job. They're keeping Danish girls uh, at least a little more time how under control, but the, the attacks from Amaga are really dangerous actually, very good. It's uh, the end of the first half and we have a three minute break. Um, uh, we reset uh, the live stream so we have uh, now only 20 people watching us. Hello to the 20 people still in the live stream after the reset. There was a little bit of problem 
Uh, please give us feedback about the sound and about uh, the quality. So yes, uh, Lorena, how, what do you say about this first day here of the Champions Cup uh, number 31 uh, in Berlin, about the games you saw already? Now we have Federico here from the Colombian team walking through the picture. Uh, it it all, all works quite smooth. We had a little bit of a problems I know, yes, with but the live stream. I'm trying to chat with the people here. I'm uh, trying to listen also to the audio to see how it's equality and so we don't keep... I trying to tell a story. I'm sorry. Continue. I'm just, I want to think the thing things to work out. <laughs> Please. No, now you have to talk. No, 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 it's fine. Please, I'm really taking <laughs> this out. <laughs> So uh, we had a little bit of a problem with the live stream in the beginning. Uh, the setup was not working right and we had problems getting the sound in. But uh, now we are up to speed. And uh, we saw some uh, already games. We saw Mulch. We saw um, uh, the Colombian team. We saw the Finnish team. And we saw Molde, um, some of the main, uh, the top teams here in this Champions Cup uh, in Berlin. It's about... Uh, 5.42 now in Berlin in the evening, quite cold and uh, dark outside already. Um, so the teams are coming in, staying uh, for warming up, playing and then go to the hotels around uh, the pool area again. So this is the regular uh, rhythm here in the, the Champions Cup because we don't have that much space in the hall and it's very warm and the, the air is very humid. So I'm pretty curious uh, about uh, Malch. Did you see the first game, uh, Lorena? Yes, it was earlier today, and they play against Switzerland, again at Alvetia. They finish 3-3, and um, this three year... 3-3. Three three three. Yeah, they finish, and then they went to penalties, and then Alvetia won on penalties. Malch against Helvetia. Yeah, that's against the Swiss. I know, that was a surprise for me, too. I'm trying to see when what time was this? Um, I was, uh, I think I was with uh, Beate. We were talking about it. Um, I haven't seen the game, uh, really. Yeah, it was today at 12. Uh, no, at one, sorry. And yeah, they finished. I was surprised. That's what I mentioned because I was um, checking, and actually, since this, this year, there's no tied games. All of the games need to be um, they have a, a, a winner, and. Then they will go to penalties. There is not going to be sudden death, so they go 1-1. One, one okay, let's go back to the game uh, because you weren't listening to me. Malch. Malch? Ah, Marcos, I thought. No, no. Let's what go in the game. Uh, we see I back again. I uh, thought you mentioned Marcos the earlier game they had today because Marcos is still <laughs> playing. So Wh we what are now... What is my name, Lorena? <laughs> <laughs> so, we are now in the middle area of the pool and the uh, Danish girls got the ball and they're trying to attack with a close corner. We have um, the defense into position, but a uh, great pass from one side to the open side, but uh, the Marcos defense really did a good job and now they're a counter attack with us. Two uh, of the blue teams stopping her. It was a pity because it was a great counter-attack, but there was no one coming. She was alone fighting against two. Nevertheless, she could keep the ball and pass it farther. Now, oh, that was a uh, soft pass and uh, Amaga girl just intercepted. And uh, now they're trying to do a counter-attack. Uh, it's one blue girl against three whites almost coming over the side trying to attack fighting against four, still keeping the ball, trying to pass it to the next Danish player. Now they have been going up a bit, but the ball fell, and uh, the Danish player was trying to attack, but pass it. Still two, three meters away from the Marcos goal, and uh, score for Amager. The captain, Marianne, blocked uh, the um, basket, and there was goal. So, what do you say? What I say, I didn't say anything. Um, you can, I think you can see the the experienced team here is uh, the Amager uh, team, and the Marcos had difficulties, even though they did a very pretty good counter attack, very fast. But uh, um, the the coolness Amager plays here 
it's difficult to break uh, for the Marco players and uh, they they are not impressed here you see they can go fast but this like an attack like this where they had three players going for the uh, two Amago players in defense they should have pushed in the first wave to give the second wave a chance to use the opening they did but they stopped the attack and uh, now they try to rebuild their attack but there are not enough players down from the Marcos um, to really put pressure on the Danish basket. Yeah, but do you remember Marcos were here also last year and they were the youngest yes, team? Yes, they are super young. Super young players, all I think 14, 15 years old girls. So they are doing an, an amazing job. Um, and the Danish uh, team is an experienced team, I think. Marianne, uh, the captain, has been playing since I used to play in the Champions Cup. We're talking maybe 15 years ago already. So that's a lot of Champions Cup. Uh, Champions Cup. We have now an attack, blue one on the goalie. The goalie is kind of a bit of a shoulder in the basket. That was a little bit of a gray area. Uh, with the women, you know, have to be careful because sometimes your shoulder is not wide enough and you kind of oh, dive in. It's a little bit, yeah. And <coughs> Uh, still fighting the ball is above the basket area, and l I can't see if I mean who is in position of the ball. Um, we have now the Danish uh, attacker from our trying to pass it and we find out you know on the side of the body of the goalie. It did not work. Uh, Lila just passed it to Mariana, Mariana passed it farther in the middle, and that was a very nice game. You know, double passes, and now they just. They completely create such a big chaos in the defense, <laughs> and eventually the um, basket was empty. It was so great the goal. The, the way the, the 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 coolness and the the dominance they play around the uh, U.S. basket is impressive, and they just wait for the chance without risking anything, and then they go in like no, they but did. they they go really in, and they keep passing yep. really. Pr putting pressure 50 centimeters away from the basket and by a body with body against the defender was really well done um, after this game comes Orcas against <laughs> Alvetia remember the women have 10 teams and we have three groups and the one group which is this one is G where you have Amagar from the Mar Orcas uh, from Colombia connect, uh, Connecticut Marcos from the US and Alvetia from, the, from Switzerland so we have now uh, again, a big fight on top of the goalie of uh, Marcos. The ball now is on the surface. The Danish women keep recovering the ball, and they're attacking from above, and then they pass it down. They're very good, very consequent. They're constantly to this, and now we have another goal uh, for the Amager. And this year they are with eight players. Last year they were with seven. And uh, it's really impressive, very good condition, physical condition, because they, they play like we have a full team of 15 players. Yeah, even though in the first game against uh, the um, Orcas, they uh, seem to be a little bit out of uh, out of the game, but here they, they show a very good performance, a very solid, very uh, dominant and self-confident in the water. Sí, el partido de Orcas de las chicas contra Suiza viene luego de este partido, para los colombianos que están preguntando. So we continue... Now uh, we are in the area, in the play area of Denmark, but we're far away, and uh, the U.S. team is having trouble to really go closer to the basket. It can be any kind of a race. So now we, they, they're very cautious. They're trying try to recover there because these attacks are so exhausting. Then you need to catch up your breath before you can do the next attack. We have now. Mariana, the captain, into an empty basket, um, and yeah, I mean, they were defending a lot, they recovered the ball, they went and tried to catch up there, and in that moment you lose the ball, that's a killer, I mean, it's a killer because you need to, you know, sprint back. And but, but do you think it's uh, a question also after these uh, um, last 17 minutes, uh, they, the, the Marcos get tired of the concentration and the pressure they are under, so you make more mistakes? Mm, yeah, could be too could be too or maybe you know if they, they cannot uh, do their game and they see how hard uh, the, the Danish women are defending and fighting then eventually if you feel frustrated because you cannot bring your game that also play the mental state of mind played a, a 
huge role. We shouldn't underestimate it. Doesn't matter how many plays, doesn't matter the conditioning. But if, if the, the players are not being able to bring up what they normally bring up, then normally they motivate uh, a team a little yeah. bit. So and I think the marker here is very self-confident and they, they look cool uh, in their game. And uh, this, this self-confidence in the water, can confidence in the water just uh, allows you to play your game. No, it's El Marcos de Connecticut, the U.S. ¿Alguien me puede explicar por qué eh, se llaman igual que el equipo de Colombia? O sea, son, tienen, ¿Son familiares o algo? Siempre también me pregunté eso. There's a en another, Colombia. Another attack from above, uh, from a, a marker player, fended off, and the goalkeeper really had problems getting into yeah. the position, and there was the gap, uh, the marker player from the close side needed to push the ball into the goal, and uh, it should be an 8-0 lead now or was that already yeah, eight zero lead for Amager. And this is one and a half minutes to go. Remember this is effective time, that means the time does not stop and it continues to run. So it's two times ten minutes but it, it goes much quicker because in a normal game you would stop the time every time something happens. So we have one more minute and Marcos is trying to attack uh, the basket of Denmark but they are really so good and for taking and recovering the ball and keeping it and passing it farther but always into position and um, they are doing a really good job in covering all the three dimensions of the pool. Um, the passes are also assertive, they uh, are very precise even if they sometimes they pass it in front of the nose of the defender and they're doing very well. The strength also of uh, the players you see in the one-on-one -on -one fight, it's difficult for the uh, Marcos, and I think it's the age too, you know, the strength and the age of the young players, they have difficulties. Oh, just talking about it, and this Marco player just ripped the ball out of the hand of a, a Danish player and goes for it. So, uh, well, there is a contradiction to what I said. Uh, this always happens fast. To prove you wrong. Yeah, th to prove me wrong. This, this is, this is life. So like, watch me. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's my life. I always get proved wrong. And I try to improve. Back in the game. Uh, Margaret is back in ball possession after three the, seconds. the tried out attack of uh, the Marcos. And A0 for Amager. The time's up. Let me write it down. Um, A0. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, where are you watching from? We have right now, after re the reset of the um, of the live stream, we have 84 people on the in the live stream. Uh, where are you watching from? What is your home uh, and your city? What is your home country? We're always curious. How can you hear us? How is the live stream uh, audio? How is the picture? How do you like the games? And yeah. what's your uh, um, estimation for the, the upcoming game, which is? Orcas versus Elvetia. Orcas from Colombia, and I'm looking for the list so I can read it uh, to you. And um, let me see. Orcas, female against uh, Elvetia. So we have for Orcas versus uh, Colombia. Estamos ahí re listos para ver el partido de las niñas. Número 2, Manuela González. 7, Daniela Marín. 10, Liliana Díaz. 12, Sofía Arango. 15, Margarita García, 17, Claudia Echeverri, 19, Angélica Miranda, 21, Silvia López, 26, Manuela Torres, 28, María Camila Henao, 72, Mariana Castaño, 88, Carolina Zuleta. Y Elvetia, Wolf, you want to read or should I read it? Yeah, I can do that. Yes, uh, so Helvetica from Switzerland. Um, Merke Cecili, um, this number five, number six. Hurtado Quinceno, Antrena, oh, what am I reading here? Ah, that's a double name, sorry. Sí. Hurtado Quinceno. No. The, the, the name is here, this is the family name. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So, Cecilia Mertle is the first one, is number five. And Andrea Vanessa Hurtado Quinceno is number six. Number seven, Helena Hedgi, Hedg, um, number nine, uh, Irene Kaiser. Number ten is Judith Buch Buchli. 
Uh, number 12, Oda Wiegen. Uh, number 14, Simone Büchler. Number 17, Anna Suetinova. Number 21, Miriam Ragosnik. Uh, number 22, Ellen uh, Reift. And number 33 is uh, Tamara Cavelti. Number 42 is Katrin Heyerly. Number 46, Miriam Fuchs. And number 81 is Isabel Morgenstern. So as you might know, number 42 is the answer to everything in the universe. So we have to watch uh, Katrin Heyerly. She will answer this game. So um, just to give you a little update uh, what's going on, yesterday we already had uh, the third Underwater Rugby Academy here in Berlin. Uh, we had uh, four workshops and presentations and it was an amazing evening. Uh, we, had, uh, 20, we had 30 people um, with us in the room and for the first time we were live streaming the whole event over Facebook live stream. You can still watch the recording on the Underwater Rugby Academy Facebook site and the topics have been uh, the Underwater Rugby Academy Sensor Project, um, which was presented by me, and we had uh, Julie and Irfan uh, in the live stream from uh, Australia and uh, um, Kat. And then uh, together with Lorena, we had the topic of uh, um, live stream commentating. Then came uh, Lisa Sapros, who was uh, co-organizing the uh, World Championship in Kat this year and she presented us the numbers and uh, what she learned from uh, organizing it. And the last topic was from uh, Manuel Tito Tomarais. Um, he was presenting uh, his thoughts and his questions to the, lives, uh, to the video review they are using in the EuroLeague. Very interesting uh, day uh, with a lot of talk, a lot of good questions, and we are proud and happy to be able to present the third Underwater Rugby Academy and here we in Berlin. Still, you know, um, trying to gather some money so we can do the website <laughs> and we have these stickers that we sell for two euros each and you can uh, buy them here uh, for us uh, and Wasavro was so nice to give us a present it was his donation so we can sell them and hopefully get a little bit of money and we can put all the material we have recorded in the last three years uh, in the web page so come here and buy those stickers for two euros it's really small money and that help us a little bit farther right Bob? yeah uh, totally right Lorena <laughs> totally right so uh, also I want to show the Wasabro t-shirts oh I need the camera back uh, there so look at that isn't it beautiful but this is just if you're a crew but I think um, they done new t-shirts for this year so you can Wasabro will be here tomorrow and on Sunday so you can come and buy the t-shirts uh, from them then. Uh, thank you very much, Elisa, for the feedback. Yeah, Tabrell, uh, Juan, Juan Jose is always trolling us. He's our personal troll. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's his that's the, that's description. We have all the family. We have the mother, Jacobo, the brother, the, 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 the auntie. Uh, they were commenting the game before you. And also, uh, please visit our uh, Instagram uh, um, of uh, the Champions Cup Instagram channel and the Facebook channel. We're posting uh, stories and um, pictures there. So uh, updates and everything also on these uh, social media channels. So we're